Well, we have Mr. U.R. Bhatt, Director, Dalton Capital Advisors, joining in to talk about the fundamentals of the market. Mr. Bhatt, uh, welcome to the show and Happy New Year as well. Thank what's you very much. your uh, sense in terms of 2019? We have global headwinds on one end, but we can't forget what's going to happen domestically with the general elections. Hmm. So, if you had to weigh both of them, which one do you think would be a more important trigger for the markets? Well, I, I don't think they are. Um working at cross purposes <laughs> <laughs> because even the global headwinds are uh, quite serious and domestically at least in the first half you have these elections. So in the run up to the elections you will have a lot of volatility in the market. Mm. So we don't see the market uh, scaling new highs or probably even reaching 11,000 in a great hurry. So I think the market would probably uh, trend downwards till at least the election outcome is known. And once the election outcome is known, I think you have to play by the year which way. Uh, if it is to the market liking, probably it will it'll, it'll go well about 11,000. Otherwise, it might come, you know, somewhat uh, um, somewhat lower than the current levels. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bhatt, uh, so uh, it, so the other one, the other leg is the Reserve Bank of India and yep. what uh, they'll do, etc. You heard him heard from the governor yesterday. Uh, so, what what's your sense? I mean, what should we really expect? Uh, should, you know, bond yields spiked a little bit after Correct. he said that yeah. we don't. I don't want a surplus uh, yeah. liquidity condition. Correct. Mm. Uh, 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 do, you, do you think we'll, we'll get easing in terms of maybe even a rate cut in Feb? What's your sense? Not impossible, mm. uh, but I think uh, it all depends on how the FISC is going to shape up because uh, if uh, there's going to be a big, uh, big bang announcement on um, some sort of universal basic income or some support to the agriculturists, uh, I think that would probably put pressure on the FISC and therefore that is what is showing up in 10-year in guilt uh, yields. Mm. So if all that is going to happen, then I don't know whether the, the, the RBI would be or the MPC would be right in uh, indicating a lower uh, interest rate regime. So, But that is, a, any of these schemes would only impact FISC next year, right? Even if they announce for FI 19, FI I understand, this budget. But, but if it is a known, huh. uh, against that background, RBI may not, uh, you know, uh, sort of uh, go and cut interest rates, or the MPC may not go and cut interest rates because that is known mm -hmm. that there would be some sort of a fiscal uh, fiscal attitude would probably be not exactly uh, the song that <laughs> that is sung till at least the elections. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I think against that background, I don't know whether RBI will uh, or the MPC will uh, will take that call mm -hmm. of reducing interest rates. I think status quo is probably more. Like it. What is your call in terms of what's happening with the, uh, you know, the consolidation that we are seeing within the NBFC space slash banking space, Bandhan Bank and Groove Finance? Uh, though it is obviously for purposes for d equity dilution for Bandhan Bank and the requirement, but uh, is that a trend that we could probably see going into 2019? Well, I think some NBFCs are under under quite some pressure, uh, so if um, they have to get out of this pressure, I think mm. this is one of the ways and uh, you know, at least they have very good distribution, they have uh, you know, some expertise so therefore I think some of the banks might uh, really consider taking over uh, some of these NBFCs which are under pressure and which have a reasonably clean book. But would you be buying NBFCs standalone? What, what would you choose within the NBFC space? Housing finance com companies or your consumer finance ones such as the likes of Bajaj? Well, the housing companies, housing finance companies are under some strain because I think the margins are uh, really very, very low as of now, especially because the the their liability franchise is is under under pressure and uh, the pricing of the liabilities is is uh, higher. So therefore, they are under terrible uh, pressure in terms of margins. Mm -hmm. And the other NBFCs, uh, the good ones are probably the ones who will survive and and grow, but the ones who are not able to negotiate this um, pressure that they are seeing now. Uh, I think they would probably uh, be under uh, some strain. I don't think they are really worth buying. Mm. Uh, autos, uh, Mr. Bhatt, uh, do you think uh, what we are seeing in terms of slowdown is temporary or uh, it could last? I think it could last for some time, mm. probably a quarter or two, but not much more than that because if you really see even when, in, when the economy was not doing well, they were doing well. Mm. So uh, it is now because of you know various issues about regulatory changes and stuff like that, about insurance and stuff like that is what I think is hitting them badly. Mm. But I think once uh, people get used to it, once the consumers get used to this new uh, sort of cost structure, mm. uh, I think there is f further growth possible here and I think they may, these may be good times for uh, one to look at uh, automobiles. Mm. What about IT and pharmaceuticals? Do you think, I mean, pharmaceuticals is more stock specific. IT was a performer last year. Yes. Will it continue in terms of gains and, you know, that safe haven kind of buying into this year as well? Would you top up on the stocks which have already given strong returns last year? So in the run up to the election, they, uh, this may be a good space to be in. Mm -hmm. But um, otherwise, I think on a, on a secular basis, if you really see the growth uh, 
the growth valuation sort of equation is not really you know in your favor in this case because they are all growing at you know hardly double digit figures or even mostly high single digit figures and the valuation does not seem to be uh, seem, seem to be factoring this in. So, therefore, I think if they continue to grow at um, you know the single digit uh, numbers or very low sing, uh, double digit numbers, I think these valuations may not be justified. So, there might be, uh, but in the run up to the election, there, it, this may be a good place to hide because it is um, sort of safe haven type. Mr. Bhatt, thanks very much for dropping by. Pleasure. I appreciate you joining in uh, with uh, that perspective on the market.